Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be showing off Voxel Sniper. Voxel Sniper is a plugin, server side, to and client side to help with mass terraforming. What mass terraforming is is basically it's mass landscaping. You can it's great for creating caves for it's not the same as world edit. It's it's completely different. Um if just a heads up before we start. If 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 this is hard to follow, there is a voxel sniper cheat sheet that you can f just Google voxel sniper cheat sheet and you'll find it. What I'm looking for right now is I'm looking for gunpowder. Here I'll just I'll just start off with the arrow. The arrow is the default um, the default brush. The f the first thing you should know when starting with this when this with this plugin is you should know the block IDs. For example, one is stone, two, uh, two is grass, three is dirt, four, four is wood, etc. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna type slash v1. Slash v1 types, or makes the voxel or block ID one. This is very useful, or that's, it's the basics today. Um, the next thing you want, want to do is type slash b, b. Slash b, b sets the brush, sets the brush to ball. There's also slash b, d for disk brush. There are many other brushes that one could use, but these are just the basics in getting started. What's just an important note before we go on is if you type slash v, zero, it gives you error. Error. Yeah. Okay, so let's so slash v1 for stone and then slash bb. So right now we have a block or right now it's just stone. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type slash b then a number like 5. So this sets the brush size to 5. The so far we've set the brush size to 5, the voxel to 1 and the brush to a ball. So if you were to spawn it, it would look something like like this. Um, yeah, the next thing you're going to want to do is type slash u. Slash u undoes everything. Some of the basics you can use are you can make it, you can make like a little, um, you can make like a little arch by going, making it five and then once you get to the certain height, you'll go slash B4. Uh, just like you can tell already how it's starting to arch. But that's, that's the basics. The next thing I'm going to teach you today is how to use the overlay brush. The first thing you're going to want to do is, let me just clear out everything. Slash U, slash U. Okay, the first, the first thing you're wanna, gonna know how to do is type slash B space over. This pulls out the overlay brush. If let's just say you wanted to make, you let's just say you just made your your very first arch and you want to paint over it with a depth of one, which means, like if I paint this a depth of one, anything under this dirt block. Anything under this dirt block would remain the same. So let's just say I did slash V or slash B overlay depth, the D right here, and then one. So the depth of this is one. So brush that, let's just make everything one to be easy for sakes. B1 and then V V1, why not? So right now, when I click on this block, Oh, there we go. Hmm. Just kidding about the overlay. Um, basically, the overlay. I forgot to change the the width for the overlay, but as you can see, let me just show you an example. The depth is one. This when I go one under this. 
it remains the same. I believe it's, um, you can find the rest of the commands online, but this is a great plugin for doing mass terraforming, which means mass landscaping, building nice arches that you can easily paint over, um, paint over, this is great if you want to, let's just say, lay out a spawn or something. So, thanks for watching.